coral reefs are marine ecosystems found in clear, shallow waters around the world. Within these reefs live corals, which are amazing creatures that look like stones and boulders, but are in fact animals. They are colonial animals, which means they live in groups like ants and penguins. Corals come in many shapes, sizes, forms, and colors. Most corals contain tiny plant cells called algae or zooxanthellae, which give corals their color. The corals and algae share a mutualistic relationship where both parties help one another. How do they help each other? Through photosynthesis, the algae convert light from the sun into food for the corals, while the corals provide shelter for the algae. Corals are very important to marine ecosystems because they provide food and shelter to many other marine organisms. Without corals, many animals, such as sea anemones and clownfish, would have no place to stay. Corals begin their lives as tiny larvae, and they will swim until they find a suitable surface to settle. After settling on a suitable surface, each larva will develop into a coral. From this point on, it is unable to move and will be stuck in the same place for life. The coral will then grow in size and in turn, start looking like tree branches, boulders, roses, and many other different shapes. Once a year, entire colonies of corals will start to make new coral babies at the same time. This is known as coral spawning. Corals can also expand or begin new colonies by making copies of themselves. However, corals are very sensitive to changes in their environment, especially with too much sand in the water, changes in light intensity making it too bright or too dark, rising sea temperatures, water pollution, and the ocean becoming more acidic due to higher amounts of carbon dioxide. All these changes may cause the corals to dissolve and coral bleaching to occur. This means that these corals are no longer healthy, and if they remain like this for too long, they will die. Corals are also harmed when people remove or damage the corals, and when people use destructive fishing practices. Since corals are important habitats and food sources for so many marine animals, when corals die, the rest of the coral reef ecosystem will collapse too. So let's do our part to protect our corals and raise awareness of their importance. Wondering how we can protect these corals? Well, you can keep the marine environment clean by not littering and volunteering for coastal cleanups. You can also avoid buying products that have corals in them, such as jewelry and ornaments. And you can raise awareness and educate the people around you about corals and their importance to the marine ecosystem. With your help, let's make sure coral reefs are still around for many years to come. <laughs>